Okay, fan reaction time then. Burnley won, bastards won. Um, you know what? Obviously, I give a lot of banter on Twitter and that, um, which is always fun. Um, but I do just want to say I actually really enjoyed that game. I think the, I think the referee sending that big lad off actually kind of ruined it. Um, it were a proper good battle, um, and we were pr on top for pretty much the majority of the game. Um, thought we started well. Apart from that ridiculous goal kick, well, kick out from Trafford after 17 seconds or whatever it was. Um, but other than that, I thought we started very, very brightly. And then when we went in front, we were deservedly in front. We were by far and away the better side up until their goal, which actually came from nothing. Um, but obviously a great finish, so you can't really complain, really. I've seen a few people slate Trafford for it. And come on, it's, it's, just, it's just a brilliant goal. There's nothing he can do. Some people are saying, why is he so far off his line? But in them scenarios, you need to be a few yards off your line to be able to come and get the ball, because that's the way we play. Even any goalkeeper is not going to be rooted to the line, are they? Yes, if he was stood on his line, he probably would have saved it. But it's not going to be rooted to his line, because keepers just don't do that. Um, so people giving Trafford stick for that goal, I'm sorry, it's not his fault at all. Nothing Trafford could have done. It's just a brilliant finish. And then after that, we struggled to, to assert the dominance or reassert the dominance. And, and they were putting themselves about a bit and were getting into the game a bit and we just couldn't get going again um, and they came back into it um, then I think as the sec as the first half wore on we then got back on top but then at the start of the second half they were probably the better side at first then after that we started to be the better side um, and then it were turning into like a proper proper derby with a lot of challenges flying about and things like that which you love to see right um, and then the referee sending that guy off um, I, f I feel like it ruined it um, it's weird though because of all these challenges flying in and you're thinking oh, some, someone's going to get sent off in a minute someone's going to get sent off in a minute and then he sends someone off for just, just doing that it's, I mean I get, I get it it's dissent I understand why the referee's done it but you, I don't know I was going to say you'd probably let these things go in a derby but why should you do the rules but you want to see a proper game of football right you're not here to see the ref um, but uh, then after that it would just it would just them camping in their own half and we basically had to try and break down a back night it actually the red card actually made it harder for us that's their thing that they're now using against us saying hey you couldn't even beat 10 men and stuff like that but obviously them getting their striker sent off doesn't help us in any way shape or form it hinders them because it's it's unlikely that they're going to go on to win the game now which as soon as they had that guy sent off i did feel comfortable that we weren't going to lose the game but i did feel it probably end up finishing 1-1 and that's exactly what happened um, we had 77% possession, yet only three shots on target, which is a worry. We're not, we were the better side and we were creating chances, but they weren't clear cut proper chances. And again, another, I know, I know some of you watching the channel don't really like XG, um, but a, a low XG again. Um, so it's, it's a tough one to take because we didn't used the, the, the man advantage but so, like I said as soon as they got sent off I, I, I just knew that they'd camp in their own half and, and you can't blame them because all they were doing were lumping the ball to him and then he, he was winning everything in the air it wasn't very good technically but in the air he won absolutely everything and that's how they scored the goal right I, I think I've already said that but he nodded it down and then and then into the into the top bins um, but as soon as he was off they didn't have an outlet so they're only ever just going to camp in their own half and it's up to us to break them down. And genuinely, I believe, in the year under Vincent Company, we would have brought them down. We, we would have done that to, in a game like today. Remember, we always used to score really, really late in them sort of games, didn't we? And I think we'd have done that again today because we were just relentless. We haven't clicked yet, though. A lot of these lads, obviously, were making the debuts today. You had Anthony, you had um, Laurent. Um, I know Hannibal and Warrell played on Wednesday against Wolves, but all these four lads just met each other this week. And then you've got some of the other ones coming on the bet off the bench as well in Sarmiento and players like that. So because we've all just, it's like a brand new team, but we've had a mad week. We've sold a lot of stars and we've brought some new players in. I genuinely believe this team will get better. We, we showed a lot of glimpses of quality but in the same time like we were looking a little bit disjointed like somebody would play a ball down the line and that run wouldn't be there or somebody had met the run and they wouldn't be looking for them because they're not used to playing together I think this game just came a little bit too early for us 
I, th I genuinely believe from what I've seen today that as we get better and better and better as the season goes on, as these lads get to know each other a bit more, I think we'll be all right and I still think we'll be there or thereabouts. Obviously, I said at the start of the season that I think we'd win the league. Um, I'll, I'll probably rein that in a little bit now after selling everybody. Uh, Leeds look like they're quite strong now, whereas we have got um, considerably weaker. Um, even, even though some people are saying it's ended up being a good transfer window because we've shifted a lot of players and made a lot of money and you know, safeguarded the future of the club and things like that and then still brought some quality in, I get that. But you can't deny that we are a weaker squad now. Um, so yeah, uh, I still think we'll be knocking on the door. We'll be one of the teams going for the automatics. Um, but I were pretty comfortable that we'd win the league pretty comfortably, if I'm honest. Uh, confident that we'd win the league comfortably. Um, but yeah, I, I can't see it now. And that's not based on today, that's just on the, on the squad. Based on today, I think we get better uh, as the season goes on. And like I said, I think we'll be there. Um, I think Corley Orshaw played well. But the end product is a worry with Corley Orshaw. Like, there's a lot of running, beating his man. Like... <laughs> He's the only one that runs at the fullbacks the way he does and tries to make things happen, but then he just doesn't make it happen. Like he gets past the fullback and then beats the man, and then the pass will go straight, or the cross will be too deep, or the shot will be high, wide, and handsome. There's a player there, as we all know, and he's only going to get better because he's only young, but he needs to work on that final product. That's where Odebear was better than him. Um, Odebear had the final product, Coley Osho doesn't yet. Anthony. I thought first off he struggled to get into the game and he looked a little bit lost, but he showed glimpses of quality. You could tell he's a good player. But again, just thought he looked a little bit lost, but that was probably just more a case of struggling to, to get into the game and, and know his teammates. But in the second half, I thought he was actually better. Um, he played quite well in that second half um, and, 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 and did look to get in behind Rovers and things like that. Hannibal, absolute little bastard, and I love it. Absolutely love it, putting himself about. Um, Laurent as well. He's, he's your Jack Cork in this side, or your Cullen, if, if you will. Um, he will do all the dirty work that goes unmissed and free up Josh Brownell um, to go further forward. I thought Josh played really well today because of that, in my opinion. Um, put it this way, when he was playing a, a, alongside Masengo up at Sunderland, Brownell was anonymous because he was having to do all the dirty work alongside Masengo, whereas with Laurent there and Cullen there, it gives him the chance to move for, uh, further forward. Um, so yeah, disappointed that we didn't beat them, um, obviously, because it's them. But genuinely, with the week that we've had, and them lot all saying, this is the best chance we've had in 14 years, like uh, Mark from the Blackman Empire, who was on the pre-game show, he said it, he said, look, we're never going to get a chance as good as this again, well, for a while. Um, uh, and uh, what are we called now? Uh, I can't remember his name, I think it was Jamie or John. The lad from B BRFCS who I was on uh, the Bet Fred and the Sportsman YouTube channel with, he said the same thing. It's the best chance we're going to have for a while to beat these. They're unsettled. They're early in the season. They've got a new manager. They lost all the players. We are settled. Obviously, that's what he was saying. Our manager's been here longer. We know the system. This is the best chance we've got to beat them in 14 years. That's what they said, and they didn't beat us. I would have taken that on Thursday because of... We had Lyle out on Thursday, didn't we, that we were going to be sold. We were telling Brown who we were going to be sold, Esteve, Luca to Wolves. I was panicking on Thursday. I'm like, please, I just, I just don't want to lose this weekend and then we can kick on. So I would have took that on Thursday. I'd, I'd have took a draw. It keeps, it keeps the record going, the 14 years going. It'll be just pushing 15 years the next time we play them. So I would have took that. But on the balance of play, I can't help but be a little bit disappointed, if I'm honest with you. But I thought they came with a game plan that um, some people may criticise, but they executed it very well and you can only say fair play to them. But yeah, proper enjoyed it. I proper enjoyed that and it properly felt like a good East Lancashire derby, which, yeah, a proper rivalry. It did feel like that again, but yeah. Would have took it on Thursday, but wouldn't have took it on the balance of play, if that makes sense. Up the Clarets.